Hey, what's up? I'm Al Cox. I play games, trying to make a game, and a bunch of other stuff in between. So I thought I would just make this video and just kind of go through the process. I think I consider myself like a beginner, and I've been using BuildBox for about a year. I have yet to release a game. Honestly, I really like, like looking around and seeing how everything works, and then I play around with ideas. Like, I have like all these, all these folders, and all of them have a bunch of different like, just themes and ideas I've been playing with and I've definitely played more games made by BuildBox than anybody else on YouTube so so I have a good knowledge base I, I understand the game I understand the mechanics and and my identical twin brother is calling me right now uh, so I have to pick up otherwise I'm an asshole so here, here's what I got so far this is it so I'm using the preview okay so it's basically it's just pixel and you break through up to the blue part I was thinking maybe have it like multiple oops uh, have it multiple so we got some shadows, stuff like that. Yeah, you know, I'm not exactly sure what kind of direction I want to go with this. But this is pretty much basically the game. And then some, like some cool other, like different colors. And you know, I always have different ideas. Like I was having an idea, like maybe have the character go back and forth, or maybe when you tap, it goes back and forth. But then how do you make the character like go back and forth without you actually controlling it? but having an idea of how it moves. Does that make sense? So like, if you press it, it moves. And then if you stop, it stops moving. But then if you press it, it continues to move where it was at. Um, whereas in the press button here, it just has the velocity. So like maybe, maybe make this one zero and add a press, a new advanced move maybe. Like, because the, the thing is, is I don't know what I can or cannot do. So I just try to do everything. That's kind of the idea. A press move. Okay, so. This one should be similar, but then can you have like, and then let's make this go 50. So it should just shoot to the right. Maybe, I don't know, but like, can you have two buttons? Okay, so you can have two buttons. So that's cool, okay. Because it, it went up, so both, both press character buttons work. So that's great. I kind of want, I kind of so using negative one and multiply is a great way to just like add an inverse, but then if you press it, so essentially I'm trying to think of how to make it go back and forth naturally, smoothly. Um, I know that I can take Okay, Google, I know I can move these over. No, I can add a transform and that will cause it to go a different direction. But this is great knowing that I can use it for two, use button press on multiple things. And so maybe if I, you know, let me try to add a transform. And this could just be for the character. I mean, this is just to see what the fuck I can do, actually. Uh, let's change. So Piet Mondrian is a Dutch painter who um, is kind of cool. So blue character, maybe this transform effect. Uh, so you can't, so it looks like there's no way to use a transform on a character. Let me check the build box forms as well. So how do I do that? How do I, how do I get the character to just like go back and forth? So you press the button. I mean, maybe I can do it from here. No, nope. press on move. So right multiply. Maybe I can multiply by negative one and on press make it 10. So every time you press it, it moves 10, but then when you let go, yeah, see like it didn't, it didn't reverse. Negative one and multiply. What is that going to do? Oh, geez. Didn't really do anything. Yeah, it kind of just makes it weird, honestly. Okay, let's see. Press. Maybe I can fuck with the angular shit. Maybe that's the way to go about it. How does, how does the angular velocity work? Let's see, 30. Let's try 30 and it's a multiply. I, I have no idea what's gonna happen. It, it feels like it moves slower. I, I'm gonna add 200. I feel like it's just adding weight to it, so I don't know. Yeah, maybe try to replace and use 30. I think this is just a point where you just fucking hit buttons and oh shit, that's kind of interesting. So it's always going in the right direction, but that'd be cool if I can do like a negative, negative five and then do multiply. See what happens there. Negative 50. Well, I guess zero and zero is not gonna. 
happens. I play cool games that have had like a similar kind of. Yeah, you know, honestly, I think I'm just gonna get rid of this and not even fuck with it because I'm just kind of getting lost. And the goal here is to move forward, not get stuck. Which is usually my biggest problem. So these are just like some cool stuff I would like. Oh, so I died there. Um, and I don't know why when I die, everything explodes. Like, oh, so that was kind of interesting. So I can actually add shit, I think, to make, add shit in the game to make the character move around. Uh, also want to add stuff to add multiple characters. Yeah, like this guy's fucked, like, fucked. Um, honestly, on those levels, I added, this, not that one, this one, added a sleep disabled. Okay, disable this, disable that. Save, save, save. So I'm gonna go into the character and kind of maybe like edit the particles that come out of it because I don't like it. Um, and I think I can actually just do it by making it smaller. Uh, making the particle this smaller, I believe makes everything about, like makes it, uh, nope, see, I thought it would make it smaller, but it doesn't. So that actually means I need to go into this. Yep, I need to close this first. Okay, excuse me. Stop it, stop with it. Nope. Oh, close, go in, go into, so this could be too, like this could be big as fuck and it doesn't matter, right? Yeah, see, it doesn't matter. Let's make it one, edit. So what I really want is this to just be smaller. Um, so let's go 30. I feel like I've made it smaller before. Um, that kind of makes it cooler. I'll make it 25. Oh, you know what I thought would be cool to add that I should probably make a list? Oh, multiple lives. Uh, giving the character multiple lives could be cool. Um, I think one of these is health, release, release, press on start, health, uh, three lives. Let's try that out. So, I, uh, oh, how did that work? It just starts you off when you die. Oh, that was my third life. Okay. Interesting. I guess I thought multiple lives. There's fucking wasps in the back. I thought multiple lives. So I play games where you have a character and then he dies, and they're like, oh, well, not dies, um, let's say gets hit, and you're still in the game. However, here, uh, multiple lives, it looks like that's not the case. It looks like it just. Yeah. You know, I wonder. Like, does this look cool if it's bigger? Like, can I do that? Right, so let's go ahead and try it out at least. See, let's move it over here, move you over here. Yeah. Do this and just make it bigger. Like, does this look cool? Because if it looks cool, I'm motherfucking down. If it doesn't look cool, then I'm not down. I guess this is kind of what I just do. I just play around. I don't Yes, I want to make this game. Um, and the games that I've played, I've played so many build box games. Like, it seems like, like if you just have an idea, you can make that idea pretty pretty much happen. Um, oh, but I don't. What? Is that working? What happened? What the fuck just happened? I'm like, look at this, that's some weird shit going on. Yeah, 
He goes pretty fast, actually. Like, what just killed me? Okay, you know what? I'm going to save it. Um, sometimes I do notice that some, something weird is going on, something that I can't explain. And that was pretty much, like, you saw that. And these collision editors, I, I do have a unique size on them, if you will. Um, but that should not have, like, none of that should be, like, 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 what the fuck is this? Oh, you know what this is? Okay, I see what's going on. Check it out. This is great. Don't know what's happening. Uh, sometimes I do just save it. So this is the 1000 yellow. So here we go. And let me look at the collision editor and boom. So I was making these before and I was trying to, I was messing with uh, scaling. And so there's multiple ways you can adjust scaling. And if you adjust the scale in the default animation, like right here, which is what I did, it does not correlate to the collision shape editor change. And you can have problems. Um, I think I, I want, I created some assets, and these assets I would prefer uh, were smaller. And instead of going back to Illustrator and just like trying to make a smaller square, I adjusted the size in BuildBox. And so now you can see everything is like set up properly and not being weird. So I believe that when they're, I mean, these are actual shapes, maybe physics shapes, they were bumping into the other ones, causing what we were seeing to just like go haywire. I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna save it. Cool. And let's take a look. Nothing must be going crazy. I don't like this little white piece over here, but whatever. I kind of wish it wouldn't break down so fast. Um, which, you know, honestly, I, I can adjust over here these. What is, what is this one? This music is fucking terrible. What is this? Enemy blue. So the enemy, I've, I've set the enemy to have uh, a health of one. So if my character touches them, they die. And then the thousand, this is a thousand yellow. So a thousand yellow is a thousand because they have a health of a thousand. And if the character touches them, then they die because the character has a health of 999. And I did this specifically so character can touch this guy and the enemy dies and the character can touch this and then the character dies. Like that. Um, but it's interesting because like here, the kit, when I break through, it, the, the pieces kind of fall, and that's what I wanted. Um, but when you make them bigger, they move faster. So, you know, maybe I'm just going to delete these for now. OK, so what, what are some cool things that I wanted to do. Uh, see, I wanted to move the character back and forth. I don't think that's going to happen. Um, I don't like how the character's like got that little white spot. Yeah, sometimes the shape's just like, it's not like, like ugh. Name of the game. Um, so I got it going through here. Maybe add some more lights. I think lights are cool. Looks like that one's got lights, 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 lights. You guys do not have lights. Like, see that? Like, that's kind of weird. Like, that's not polished. Like, when it gets destroyed, it's not fully destroyed. It takes a couple of seconds. Shit, my laundry is done. 